Hey, it's Robert here from robertcbrand.online. Hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are in the world today. Now, in today's video, I want to share with you my three top productivity tips to help you be more, do more, and have more of anything you desire for yourself in both life and business. Got your attention? I hope so. Quickly, before we get stuck into the meat of this video, let me ask you to go ahead and like the video if you enjoy the video, which I hope you will. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you get notified each and every time I produce one of these in the future, which is pretty often. Okay, with all of the housekeeping out of the way, let's get going. Alrighty then. Tip number one, do the most important things first. I learned this lesson a long, long time ago. There is in fact never enough time to do everything. We've only got 24 seven, right? 24 seven, you're not gonna negotiate any more time. But here's the thing, despite that, there's always enough time to do the important stuff. Thing is, most of us don't take time to figure out what that is. And we get caught up in doing other things that are not so important. They're just busy stuff, busyness, often attached to other people's agendas and not your own. And that's a subject for another video because I could go on forever. But tip number one is get strong about this. Get clear about what moves you towards your goals and do the big things first okay big rocks and then the, the 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 little pebbles and the sand go around the big rocks but the big rocks the most important things the things that you're putting off doing making that phone call whatever it is you're dreading it for some reason get that done first once you've got that out of the way you build momentum you feel great and the rest of your day is set up for you to enjoy it why because you know You've got the stuff that was bothering you out of the way and you feel good about it. And feeling good is a great place to start if you want to have a great day. Here's a really tip top tip. Plan your agenda ahead of time. I'll tell you for why. Because it helps you to be more proactive rather than being reactive. Even if you only do your planning the day before or the night before, the day when you have to do the stuff, that's great. Even better if you can plan your week in advance. So you know exactly what you're doing on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And then hopefully you have the weekend off. Why? Because you've had a great week and you've got a lot done. And what's more, you'll feel good because you'll know your busyness was spent on doing the stuff that moves you towards what you want. It was the highest income producing activity that you could have been doing. It was the most fulfilling, whatever it is for you. But you need to know that you're spending your time on the stuff that really matters to you and your overall vision of your life and where you want to be and how you want to live. It's all important stuff. It's your life after all, right? Here's the thing. If you don't plan ahead and structure your to-dos and your goals, then you'll fit in to somebody else's agenda. Now that very quickly moves you from being proactive to reactive. You'll now jump in to somebody else's tune, or I should say dancing. Most of us dance to a tune, right? You're dancing to somebody else's tune and not your own. You're helping them fulfill their goals, not your own. So you need to plan your agenda. You need to be the first person in your appointment book every week when it comes to planning, having time for yourself to just recharge and re-energize, exercise, whatever it is. You have to be numero uno. If you don't respect yourself in this way, then others won't respect you either and they will throw all of their stuff on you. So the way to overcome that and the way to really support what I spoke to you about in the first tip is to actually set your agenda ahead of time. Have a plan that you stick to and that you're rigid about and let other people fit around you. 
That's how you get clear about what needs to be done and you commit to doing it before you do anything else. And finally, tip number three, I'd like you to work 40, rest 20. There are 60 beautiful little minutes in every hour. If you sit at your computer or do whatever it is that you do for work, for a full hour without taking any rest, and you do that all day long, it won't take long before you burn out. And you'll literally almost go into a kind of comatose state where you're, you're kind of brain dead almost. You know, you're going to just, nothing's going to come out of you. Your brain will be effectively worn out. So here's the thing that I do. Works brilliantly for me. It works brilliantly for clients I've shared it with. And that is to split your hour into 40 minutes of work and 20 minutes of rest. It's so important, especially if you're working at a computer, to get up, take a deep breath, walk away, have a drink of water, cup of tea, cup of coffee, whatever floats your boat, and get your circulation going. Completely give your mind a rest from whatever the heck you've been working on for the last 40 minutes. It's important to do this. One of the most important reasons for doing this is because you'll feel much fresher when you come back and the work you do in the subsequent 40 minute slot will be of a far higher quality than it would have been if you'd have just sat there and kept hammering away at it. Because if you keep kind of going at it, in the end, you're going to dull the blade. It's as simple as that. So number one, do the most important stuff first. Number two, set your agenda ahead of time. And number three, work 40 minutes, rest for 20 minutes. That's it. You have the recipe to be, do and have anything you want and become more productive starting today. All you need to do is take action.